uh, welcome back because obviously since you were last year, things have changed quite significantly for you. You used Absolutely. to be downtrodden and living in your nana's spare room. And now we pulled him up. Hello. Multi-millionaire. <laughs> yeah. Love Versace glasses. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lover nice. of various women. <laughs> yeah. One. <laughs> um, well, you shagged a lot of ones. It varied. <laughs> from other women. <laughs> She's a varied woman. <laughs> Just tell us what the roller coaster has been like in the past few months. Do you know what? The last six weeks in particular, yeah. I've had some of the best piss ups of my life. And I've had a lot of piss ups. <laughs> I've um, done coke in a church. I've, I've found. I've discovered. What is that? A Kanye song. <laughs> I, coke uh, in a church. It's just oh, been it's Frank Ocean. It's just been a um, a bit of a not bucket list stuff. That's too far. But it's always because <laughs> coke. <laughs> it's coke in a church. Not stuff in a synagogue. Tick tick. It's always been an ambition of mine. Just, in the just ass. Uh, that I'm having coke in your house. <laughs> God. Yeah. And the funny thing is, it was that Pedicure wedding. in a mosque. She was already off. <laughs> I am so glad you went pedicure for the mosque. <laughs> There's listen. so many angles you could go there as well. <laughs> Proper junction, isn't it? Roundabout of uh, options there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I um yeah. <laughs> you can tell he's been podcasting loads since since he first came on. Oh, roundabout <laughs> options. Anyway, back to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, and the door didn't fit the chair. The, the toilet door didn't fit the door holder. What's it called? Door frame. Door frame. <laughs> it, the door holder. The house. <laughs> the I, and yeah. So the door didn't fit, and it was held together by rope. On the mm. lock to yeah. make it fit so people can have a poo in privacy. Yeah. In the church? Yeah. What but kind of ghetto church is this? Uh, in Garton, St. James's. Ghetto. I think it's very oh, yeah. possible that you shit in the confession box, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hold in the wall. <laughs> we make shit in the golf bunker. Could see the fella in the next cube. <laughs> we, uh, we got kicked off a golf course because we make shit in a bunker. Yeah. It's not a confession box as such, but it's it's lack of respect isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the game of so much etiquette. No, hang on, definitely worse than the confession yeah. box. Well, he baked over it as well. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you just say it's worse to shit in a bunker than a confession box? I said I will the opposite. Take you to, I will take. I you said the task. absolute opposite. Oh, the bunker. You're out in the breeze. You can sand it. It's just a big golfing fucking <laughs> like litter box, isn't it, for yeah. a cat? If you shit and the guy's going, so have you got anything to confess? And you're like, yeah, bunker, yeah. Like golfer litter, like cat litter. Are you meant to shit there? Are you what are for? It's what they're for. Yeah, because you can't get the toilets too far away in the clubhouse. You yeah. poo in the fucking bunkers. Poo in the bunkers. Have you ever been rough. on a round of a golf car? Yeah. You're talking with a lot of authority. I poo in the hole as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some f you don't put in public from 180 yards <laughs> out. No, I do. Part three. It depends. I'm jumping ready. the water feature. So yeah, I jump in the lake, <laughs> get people's balls back while I'm there. Oh, I love finding golf balls. There's something beautiful about finding a golf ball. Yeah, it's like this was once hope of a good shot, yeah. and I found it in a forest. Yeah, but in, in the rough forest. In a, in a forest. <laughs> in a, turns out it was a, a really bad shot. Miles. <laughs> There What's your story, golf ball? <laughs> there was a golf course here a hundred years ago. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a God. dead golf ball, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Why uh, did you do coke in a church? It's just I had to. I was at a wedding and um, I was a groomsman. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at the front table thing. Do you know the altar? Top table. Yeah, the altar thing. Oh. Um, proper top tier stuff. Do you know what I mean? I had to stand up for the hymns and that, and people were watching me, so I, I was pretty involved. But when you get to the church... <laughs> Literally everyone in the church has to stand up. It's been a yeah, drug... He, he, yeah, but he was facing the front. There was no one, no one in front of him. Oi, by the way, like, I know just everyone me. that's listening and watching just went, hang on, the top table is is the different thing from the altar in the I know, church. I'm not, I've never been to a wedding before, though, so I don't know the exact terms. Right, cool. First wedding, groomsman. The tabernacle. Yeah. Uh, right into... Found a golf ball. Right, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's been it's been very drug themed for me this wedding. Um, yeah, because you, you're doing coke at the service, mate. I did ket at the suit fitting. Shut the fuck. That's definitely an Arctic Monkeys album. Hundred <laughs> percent. He did some ket at his suit fitting. The man was such a fucking legend, but his life was a mess. Did it? Oh, I had a nightmare at the dealer. suit fitting because I don't wear tailored clothes. <laughs> um, so I've never I, I had a suit fitting before. And I only, I'm only going off like Sopranos and that, you know, how it's done. 
I yeah. thought it'd be like an old Italian guy spitting tobacco in Gordon <laughs> Slaters in town. <laughs> um, so I've never been. So I was like, I was really excited to go. So we're all going. All the people who are grooms and like nine of us. So I'm like, we're gonna have to get on it. So a few of us got on it. I was getting a bit of a KO in Slaters. I've never been what? anything measured. It's right, like two I'm and never been a KO in Slaters. Gonna say Jamie. No one has. <laughs> <laughs> My mate uh, Luke did. He'd been in one before. <laughs> do you know, as someone who's got on it in the past, I cannot imagine a worse place to oh, try and funny. do ketamine. But it's funny than though. Sla- is it the one off uh, Market Street yeah, in the middle yeah. of Manchester? Yeah. Just genuinely being anywhere near the Arndale Centre on ketamine must be a very well, we'd, we'd, specific type of we'd hell. We'd been out for a, a few hours before, so I was just doing it in the toilets, and I thought, well, we've got to go to the suit fitting. Anyway, so we get there, and I just want to follow everyone else. I'm a sheep. I, I just follow by instinct. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's I, not I your wedding. People. Not your wedding. I copy people. I Who, don't know. Uh, is the groom there? Yeah, yeah. So the, you've gone for a few beers. Yeah. And you're like, oh, suit fins at what time? Like three, half two. Oh, three. it's dangerous. Dangerous is late. Um, like a late kickoff. Yeah. And then <laughs> I'm first out the at. Like, oh, Jamie Hutchinson, oh, for fuck's sake. So he hands me the blazer and pants. <laughs> like and an FA Cup draw. And all, he, <laughs> and all he says is, I'll see you in a minute. And then 10 minutes go by and he like <laughs> pulls the curtain, he went, is everything all right? And I'm still stood there with my blazer and pants. He went, what are you doing? I went, well, I thought you'd come in with me and do all that. <laughs> I thought they measure you in the changing room. You've seen Godfellas and gone. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, That's what they'll do in Slaters <laughs> on Market Street. <laughs> I was my Some only reference. disinterested 22 year old from Salford like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> you're like you know, put me so, pants on so they left you to just put some clothes on and they came back 10 minutes later and you're still stood there yeah Have, had you had ketamine at this point mm. oh Jesus yeah and, uh, oh uh, lord my mate was in a bad way with it and I uh, he was he's a bit thick like me but I was convincing him that he had to get his ears measured off that girl over there on the other desk because it has to match the lapels <laughs> And he went at me to get me ears measured. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it was so funny. It was a mint day out. Oh, day out? <laughs> it's great. Honestly. Like Alton Towers. <laughs> it was fucking mint. It's out of interest. Where oh, does, you know, when a night so when a night out was started in Slater's on Ketamine, <laughs> where does it end? I'm intrigued. Like, when it gets four o'clock and you're all done with the main event, where do you, where's the natural Doing progression? Pills in River Island. Yeah, pills and... <laughs> That's why they've got a DJ in River Island. <laughs> MD, MDMA and W.A. Smith. <laughs> and I love stationery. <laughs> oh, my God, his people's got lines. Using gel pens as glow sticks. <laughs> 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 It's fire. Have an after party in Curry. Can we all just say, you know those DJs that are in like a high street shops oh, now? Yeah. That was never the dream, was it? No. Oh, mate. <laughs> I, I've seen one in a chippy. <laughs> Fuck off. In Blackpool, mate. A DJ in a chippy, lad. <laughs> How grim is that? <laughs> I think it's called DJ Mad Matt or something. something Shout like out to that. Johnny's 32. Te- <laughs> no. Sorry. John wants his pants in a 32. <laughs> In a chippy. In a chippy. Chippy and Can I have a 34-inch waist pants, please? The longer you stay, the bigger it gets. <laughs> <laughs>